Hello there. Welcome to the Scratch tuto Tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to use a controller in Scratch. Thank you, lag. Very cool. First, we need a specific add-on called Scratch Add-ons. This um not an add-on for Scratch actually. It's a Chrome extension, but um it also is available for Firefox. And also you can use it in browser by um Chromium Brace. <laughs> Chrome, I can't say. Base browsers um, on Firefox. I think. Uh, yeah. So just add that. Now I have it added. Make sure you refresh your scratch page. But you aren't going to see any gamepad support yet until you click on here. So basically, if you don't know what scratch add ons is, it's going to show your messages or your notifications. <coughs> It's gonna show you a bunch of uh, yeah stuff in here that you can see, play, whatever. And the thing we're focused on for today is add-ons. If you want cab blocks, you can enable that. But now what we're focused on today is for the controller support and to get it working. So all we have to type in is control control. Oh, gamepad support actually. So yeah. But before you toggle this, it's already loaded for me. But before you toggle this, if your controller needs drivers, install them. This can't just magically install your drivers. Or if your controller does not work with the Google Chrome for some reason. The only way that you can know is just go to a gamepad tester website. But so if it's not working for you, just reconnect or whatever. Just press a button, move it around or whatever. See, it's detected. This automatically is on WASD or WASD. Let me put arrow keys and get rid of a pair. Wait, what? Yeah. What the? What's this for? And also down. Um, you can change these buttons. I'm gonna. Right here, so you can see I can use um the left analog, I mean the right analog stick to move my cursor around and I can use the R key button to select. But let's actually uh, try to use this. So press your buttons and see which button turns yellow. These buttons are going to be used, seen with this. If you have some buttons that you can't see, yeah, you can't use them. But let's see, there's a cursor. Let's see, there's our little cursor. We have our D pad, <coughs> which is already these. So let's say, yeah, there's already an up. I'm gonna set the pause button, which is button nine for me, to a P. Which is the pause button for the game. Let's try. That's how you sign in things. Just press button. The only button that you can't assign is backspace or uh, right click. Neither left click too. So yeah. Right here, select the level. Sorry for the lag too. <laughs> Sorry for that. It just lags. Let's uh, take off my mouse first because I'm trying. To... There you go. We can move around, jump, and, and do that stuff. Press the pause on here. I can uh, choose if you if I'm lagging right now. <laughs> Actually, I'm like really sorry. Well, let's uh, try to do gameplay on this. Even though it's lagging, I just want to see if I can do like 20 seconds. What even when it's lagging? No, I can't. It's lag is so hard. <laughs> Probably not. Ah. I don't know why. Maybe it's the clones. I really don't know. I'll have to try one of my games. Scratches usually just not that. When I'm recording, scratches just not smooth at all. Yep, I didn't do it well. Usually I could beat this level in 20 seconds, but I'm just demonstrating that it works and to prove I'm on controller. So. You hear my controller here, it's moving around. Put the uh press the A button. Jumps. 
can hear me uh, pressing buttons and everything. Well, one of the buttons I pressed was the wrong one. This is the one I meant to press, but. Yeah, the, if you have an Xbox controller, you obviously can't use the Xbox button. It's not like Chrome can detect that anyway. But yeah, really cool. So, it's a really cool thing I want to show you. So, yeah. The lag is real, though. B b bye, I guess.